Welcome everyone to no everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is brought to you in part by Ladybug Paper Company. Check out their full line of products at www.ladybugpaperco.ca. Welcome everybody to another day of adventure. So we are back here at Five Islands Provincial Park uh, to do their big hike here, which is about a seven kilometer hike. Um, another beautiful day, just like it was yesterday. In fact, yesterday was so beautiful that as you can probably tell, I am very, very burnt. So today we're going to be doing a hike mostly within the woods. So hopefully that means that I'll get a little bit of relief from the sun and uh, allow myself to heal a little bit. So already we like what we see. The trail is well marked from the road. Um, yesterday when we did talk to the park attendant, she mentioned that uh, the trail has a lot of mosquitoes and black flies. So we did take precautions this time and put on some bug repellent. Are you lost already? Okay, so she's lost from here. That's where we started. It's <laughs> not like 12, right? If you look right up on that tree, there's a marker. Do you know I'm short? <laughs> Whether you're tall or short, you'll enjoy the 7.2 kilometer or 4.5 mile loop trail. The hike starts by making you climb. Although there's only 197 meters, or 646 feet of elevation gain, you are forced to get it done right from the start. After you get to the top, the trail levels out for the first half of the hike. Being early summer, we stop to smell the roses, as it were, by checking out a nice selection of wild flowers along the trail. You think you might have found your mayflowers? What do you think? I can't take a picture. Why? It's already fall. <laughs> My eyes have uh, been playing tricks on me this trail so far twice. I thought I saw some sort of animal across the trail, like just out of the corner of my eye. And both times I think I've been wrong. But uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because we really didn't sleep well last night. Um, with all that rain, we put a tarp over our tent and uh, easily the loudest tarp that could ever be created with all the wind. And uh, it kept us both awake a fair amount of the night listening to it. Uh, so maybe it's just the tiredness playing with my eyes and playing with my mind. This looks like a perfect trail to check for wood ticks afterward oh, no. with all this long grass. Yeah, this is the a perfect wood hook, like hangout spot. As you continue along the trail, you pass a series of small bridges, keeping you away from the muddy trails and small water crossings you'll encounter along the way. You begin a small descent as you get towards the road. Okay, so we've been on the trail for about an hour now, and I just want to give a little bit of my thoughts. Um, so a few things that I've, I've liked so far is the uh, different scenery as we're going. So it seems to mix between uh, some wooded where it's nice and flat, um, some like open grassy trail which is nice, and then when you dip deeper into the woods you get a little more uh, trail with the roots on it which is always interesting. So I do like the variety. Um, so far there's really nothing to write home about as far as views go. Um, you're just kind of doing this trail, at least to this point, uh, just for a nice walk into the woods. Um, the first part of it is definitely the steepest part. It's been relatively level for the last little bit and uh, we've had no problems with uh, getting off trail and uh, so far I've been enjoying the first hour of the hike. Once you get to the other side of the road, there are two access routes to the rest of the trail. Be sure to listen to your mother before crossing and look both ways. I was worried, with a lack of views, the trail wouldn't offer much more than hiking through the woods. Luckily, the second half of the trail is where it becomes more beautiful. It gives you the chance to walk along the cliff face with a view of the Minas Basin in the background. I love hikes where you have a water view, and this one didn't disappoint. So I'd like to thank you all for watching and joining in on another hike today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
If you did, the easiest way to let me know is just by hitting that like button. Love for you to leave a comment and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel. Go to some amazing places here around in Nova Scotia and then of course all over. Alright everyone, thank you again so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.